middle of the road. This is a voice test. Hey, what's up everybody? EXO coming at you here. Just got back from Christmas vacation and boy, what a doozy. Thanks to you guys, over the break, we reached over 300,000 subscribers. Holy smokes, can't even believe it. Wish I could high five every last one of you and let you know how much this means to me. Thanks for always joining us here on YouTube. For today's video, we'll be trying to improve the acoustics inside our home theater room. Remember a couple weeks ago when we talked about all the different target areas inside this room and how the space itself sounds kind of echoey? Well, today we're gonna change all of that. No fancy tools needed either. We'll tackle all the important spots like upper corners, ceiling, and sidewalls, and attach three inch foam panels from Sound Assured. Let's just hope these windows over here don't give us too much grief because the damn things are literally right in the way. All right, so the first step, finding some decent acoustic foam. Being wicked disappointed with two other Amazon purchases, I started reaching out to more real deal companies just to get an actual person on the phone. But even that was pretty tricky and only one company ended up taking my call. Holy crap, that's pretty heavy for some foam. It feels like good high quality stuff. Luckily, that's how we met Phil, learned about Sound Assured, and then struck a deal with him on some quality acoustic foam for a damn good price. Holy crap, you guys. Look at this. This is awesome. Check it out. All laid out there for me, expanded by the second. This is professional right here. Wow. This must be a bass trap, I think. Let's wait for it to fully uh, come undone. Let's do a little time lapse. I'll let, I'll let it sit right here. The way this stuff works is pretty straightforward. After opening the box, each panel needs time to fully puff up. So some pieces look a little squished at first. We chose the three inch version for a nice blend of good looks and good results. The extra symmetry we'll get from mixing pyramids and wedges will be a great addition to the room. itself is actually pretty damn impressive. Just from touching it, you can tell it has way more density than the other crappy panels. And a big bonus, light cannot pass through it. The foam is so dense, nothing shines through. This will be great for us because on one side of the room, light from the window will be shining directly behind it. The high density will keep all the light out and make sure the hot glue stays nice and strong on the backing. <laughs> Because this house is rented, there's rules against puncturing holes or causing damage to the walls. We couldn't use any push pins or spray glue, so to get around that, we picked up some Coroplast. This stuff comes in thick plastic sheets and can handle the abuse of getting glued again and again. At first, we planned on using a spray adhesive, but after testing the strength of just hot glue, that was more than enough and way easier to work with. The plastic sheets will become the backboard and these special little strips will allow us to hang them right onto the wall, kind of like a beefed up Velcro. Once moving time comes again, we'll be able to take our treatments with us. In order to get the placement at the best points of reflection, we'll use a basic household mirror and simply reflect the areas where we can see the speakers on the wall. For accuracy, this must be lined up from the listening position. Targeting the reflective areas between your favorite seat and your speakers will help reduce the destructive sounds bouncing around and arriving to your ears at the wrong time. Ah, 
just like we thought at the beginning, the windows are right in the middle of everything. The best option now is using the Coroplast for cutouts inside the seam of the window. Doing it that way will give us identical looking panels for both the left and the right. The reflections from the floor are being absorbed by the carpet and the ceiling will be an easy treatment as well because the light gives us a point of reference. With those areas in mind, we can finally begin attaching the acoustic foam to the Coroplast. we accidentally glued a piece in the wrong direction. But that's no biggie. Turning it sideways will be easy. On the back side, the foam still looks nice and fresh, and all the excess glue stayed stuck to the plastic instead. Scraping her down with a crappy kitchen blade made quick work of getting it all off. Another win-win for the Coroplast. Hope you're enjoying today's new YouTube video. Just want to send a big old EXO high five to our channel sponsors, dollarshaveclub.com. For the past six months, they've been a great addition to the crew here. And because you guys continue to show so much love, the guys over there are about to hook us audio junkies up all over again. If you're sick of spending buku bucks on store-bought blades just to be greeted with a bloody mess of toilet paper in the mirror, then the $5 starter pack is a perfect fit. The Daily Essentials kit includes a solid six-blade razor with four replacement heads, a tube of shave butter, body cleanser, and three one-wipe Charlies. Having a pretty bearded reputation myself, I still find it funny every time someone pokes fun at my face. but. With having the Dollar Shave Club on my side, it really helps brush those negative comments right off. So if you're interested in picking up a shave kit for yourself, remember to visit our official EXO affiliated link and thanks again for your kind support. These DSC cooperations help us reach even bigger goals and help create more opportunities for viewers like you. So thanks for checking out the Dollar Shave Club and let's get back into today's video as we attach our acoustic foam. Alrighty, with the 12 by 12 pieces ready to rock, our base traps are up next. These hefty 24 inches will be placed in the upper corners just below the crown molding. Putting them up there will be a great option for keeping the space open and getting good results. Sound Assured uses an in-house CNC, so all the cuts have a nice sharp look. All these random ridges will help absorb sound energy and prevent it from creating pockets of high pressure in the corners. Of course, we'll need to trim off the edges of the Coroplast because the base traps are 12 inches smaller than our 36 inch sheets. A basic utility blade cuts through like butter. up applying the command strips. These are what keep our walls nice and clean. Each panel got a generous helping of strips placed around the borders. They stick like no tomorrow and can hold stuff up like 20 times heavier than this. So it should be our best bet for holding everything up.
mounting, the base traps was a little harder than expected. Because the door trim comes up so high, attaching the panels flush to the crown molding called for some tucking in. Just a light tuck on the bottoms popped everything right above the trim and allowed the next piece to fit in perfectly right next to it. Applying a full strip of base traps down the back wall will utilize the entire width of the room. Now that's more like it, fully treated and looking like a million bucks. Take a look at what we've done here. There is 92 square feet of acoustic foam on the walls and already just standing here talking, the room sounds way different much less echo. To show you guys the full results, we luckily did some sound testing inside the room before adding all these panels. These next few clips will be a great comparison between a treated and an untreated room. We'll play identical noises and listen for how the sound decays over time. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and see how effective these acoustic panels really are. Middle of the room, this is a voice test. Middle of the room, this is a voice test. Middle of the room, this is a voice test. Middle of the room, this is a voice test. Middle of the room, this is a voice test. Middle of the room, this is a voice test. Middle of the room, this is a voice test. Middle of the room, this is a voice test. Corner of the room, this is a voice test. Corner of the room, this is a voice test. Corner of the room, this is a voice test. Test. Corner of the room, this is a voice test. Corner of the room, this is a voice test. Corner of the room, this is a voice test. Corner of the room, this is a voice test. Corner of the room, this is a voice test. Well, that'll just about do it, everyone. Talk about some great results. Some of the examples really illustrated how effective these sound panels really are at tightening up and reducing reverb time. Even just clapping before and after, it's like a world of a difference. So if you guys wanna get in on some of this action, we actually pulled some strings and talked to Phil over at Sound Assured. And instead of me making a couple bucks off this video, we are gonna send all of that savings to you guys guys for some EXO home theater bundle packages. So it should be a great way to get your foot in the door with some square footage of your own. You know, a quick placement on the walls and it's a night and day difference. Me and my girlfriend have already broken in the space a little bit with that movie Bird Box. Everybody was talking about it, but it was pretty good, but it was even better played on these tower speakers and the space itself really made for a, a good movie-like experience. Almost like you're in your own mini home theater. After all, 
that's kind of what we're going for here. So be sure to check it out if you're interested. And also a big thank you to Dollar Shave Club, which also helps us produce better content, more, you know, higher quality edits like we see here, always trying to improve our video quality. So thanks for watching the YouTube channel. We got way more in store for just this project alone, but also other projects, including our car audio builds, both in our car and SUV. So there's lots here to learn, lots here to have fun with. So thanks for joining the EXO channels. All right, guys, I hope you had a great new year and Christmas, and I will talk to you in the next one. This is EXO signing out.